Hello and welcome to this demonstration and test of a vintage manual conical burr coffee grinder. In this case, I don't have a clue who the maker is and I think it may be a one-off. I think probably from the parts that you could possibly, if you were a cabinet maker around the time this was made, which was 1931, you could probably buy the fittings for a coffee grinder, make a cabinet and put them in. A couple of interesting features. The most interesting thing about it is this big heavy ornate handle with two fish tails and a date 1931 on it um, also got a very attractive walnut handle the grinder itself is made from a precious wood I'm not sure exactly what it's a nut wood I would have said and several interesting features for example the drawer rather than having draw springs has a little lock on it so you turn the handle and lock it and take it out very heavy high quality fittings and my hypothesis at the moment is that this grinder was made to celebrate or commemorate a wedding and the reason i think this is it's a, a very high quality well made probably custom made domestic item and then we've got the two fish joined into one with a date 1931 and now obviously fish have got nothing to do with coffee so that that motif is there for another reason anyway the uh, test is as it always is we're going to take seven grams of coffee we're going to put the grinder on its finest setting with the burrs just touching We're going to see how it does both for speed and fineness of grind. So let's go. So that's about 20 turns of the handle there making it a quick grinder let's have a look at the grind the grind we've got is in fact medium fine to fine grind so basically should be suitable for pretty much any coffee maker anyway there we have it the 1931 mystery grinder thanks for watching feel free to have a look at the links at the end of the video or in the description, please subscribe. Happy grinding.